So these are the only vegetable ingredients that uh, I had to make what I could call a ratatouille, or we could call it uh, just my vegetable stew. Are you helping? Very good. Okay, so there's aubergine or eggplant, and I cut it in kind of thickish slices. Then I prefer a sweet onion, which is the red onion, so I've cut a load of that up. Then there's courgette or zucchini, depending where you're from. And I'll cut this one up and that one. I'll be cutting this uh, eggplant or aubergine as well. Then there's carrots. I cut them up like this so that they can cook at the same rate as the softer vegetables. Then I have some uh, fresh oregano from the garden, which I've sliced up. Then here's some garlic that I'll, I'll mix in as well. And then here are some leeks. And then I have some kind of cheap balsamic vinegar, some salt and uh, some olive oil. And what I tend to do is put my, I layer my eggplant uh, down here on the bottom. We're having this happening on the side. That's what the, <laughs> there's no stopping puppies when you're trying to cook something. So what I tend to do with the um, aubergine or eggplant uh, is I put a layer of it down uh, in the um, bottom of the pan. <laughs> My goodness, will you all kind of mind your manners? I'm trying to do a little recipe video here. Um, then what I do is I've got some salt and I tend to sprinkle a little salt on the uh, aubergine at the bottom just because I find it cooks better and it's more flavorful. flavorful. I, I love aubergine. To me, it's a very meaty vegetable. And uh, so this is, I do that a layer. Then I'm going to cut this up and then I will do the rest, put that on next, mix this in, mix this in, mix this in, mix this in, and then this will be on top. I'm gonna slice up this aubergine and that and so that I can, uh, and then I'll layer it and I'll show you as I layer it. But I put the salt on this and while I'm cutting up the other vegetables, I like the aubergine to have a chance to have the salt on it. And then I kind of do this. This is a cheap balsamic vinegar, nothing posh. And then I let it just soak in for a little while while I'm doing the rest of the vegetables. So it has its own time to ferment in the dish. The aubergine, the salt, and the, um, what is this stuff called? Balsamic vinegar. See, I'm such a pro, and I have puppies cavorting and making noise while I'm trying to do my recipe. So here's this next aubergine is uh, sliced up. Now, the tops, the top and the tail, that's the top, is where the stem attaches to the plant, and the tail is where the flower once was. So I always call that topping and tailing. So this is the top of the aubergine. And they will go into the hen bucket so the hens can have all that. So what I tend to do is then wipe this so that it's getting lovely and soaked in the salts. And that way everything gets covered in this lovely balsamic vinegar. Um, just because I do love uh, the aubergine absorbs all these kind of flavors and it's just scrummy. So there's that. Oh, that's the tail of the aubergine. That's the, actually you can eat that. That doesn't matter. I'll keep that in there. And then I will put some more salt some more salt on that and a little bit of more of that and then a little bit of olive oil 
You can see I don't do measurements, I'm afraid. So that's the aubergine layer. Then I put on some onions. Now they'll all kind of fall apart because to begin with, they kind of bake in the oven. And so then we get a bit of this. And then we get a bit of these, the, the, the zucchinis. There we go. And some more of these. These are the onions. And some more of the leeks. And then I'll get a bit of the garlic. Some more of the onions. Oh, and I forgot to put the um, oregano on. You can get, um, you can get dry oregano. You don't need fresh oregano, but we have it in the garden, so I'm. That's why I'm using it because we do have it in the garden. It's only just coming up. It's in the um, tiny florette stage. So, so this is. So those are all the vegetables in there except for the carrots, and I use the carrots last. The carrots I put as a layer on top because they're the slowest to cook. So they want to be closest to the heat. And the aga, um, the top, the bottom will have all the kind of juices and things like that. And so this, I just put the layer. I layer this all up here. Now. There, now put the last of the salt and some more olive oil. And some bit more of a splash of balsamic. Now I put this in the top right hand aga oven right here. So first I have to um, get the lid. I don't know what I've done with the aga lid. I mean the, um, I've got to go find the lid for this pot. They've quieted down. Anyway. Here's the top right hand aga oven and the pot that I'm putting in. So I've got to take the tray out. Pepper's snoozing. Here's the um, ratatouille or vegetable stew. Put the lid on. Then, oh dear, into the oven. And then I will leave it there for about a half hour and then I transfer it over to the other oven for a few hours of stewing. So that is the beginning of my vegetable stew or uh, whatever vegetables there are, ta 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 tui. And this is the hen bucket, has all the scraps in it. So that's what happens with that. Oh, I forgot to say I put pepper on. You know, bog standard pepper. So, as well, I forgot salt, pepper, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and oregano are the four kind of things that I use to flavor the vegetables. So, salt, pepper, olive oil, uh, balsamic vinegar, and then the oregano, which is all in there. So, I will take that out soon. So... I pulled the ratatatatatui out of the oven and this is when I give it a bit of a stir. 
you can see it's kind of cooking and it's not completely cooked. This is, we don't want it completely cooked. So the vegetables you can see are partially cooked and stirring it up. And then it will go into, what I love about rat ratatouille is how wonderfully colorful it is. So here we go, put that little bit there. It's so colorful. I love putting all kinds of vegetables. Sadly, I don't have any tomatoes. Otherwise I would have put, I love the little cherry tomatoes all speckled through it, but it's a very colorful um, dish, which is what I love about it, as well as it's so meaty in flavor because of the uh, aubergine, as it were. So now, put the lid back on, and I'm gonna put it in this oven here. I have to take two hands to do it. And it'll be in that oven for the next uh, couple of hours to slowly stew uh, and uh, um, become even more delicious. So that's what I'm gonna do, put it in there next. So here it is going into this top left hand oven and it will stew away in there for a couple of hours. So I've gotta put the baking tray back in here. So, because it came out of there. And now we just wait a couple of hours and then we will have lovely ratatouille, which I'll grate cheese on top of, which is really, really scrummy. So next phase, 